Hi, Nick from Just Duets. Today I'd like to show you a class from my new online course, The Thesaurus of Tripass. Hope you enjoy. What is the triad pairs improvisational system? Simply put, it is superimposing pairs of triads, major, minor, diminished, etc., over a chord or harmony. Let's look at an example to illustrate this concept. Let's superimpose two triads, C minor and D minor, over a C minor bass chord. C minor, D minor, C minor, D minor. Can you see I am changing the inversions? To play the triads on monophonic instruments like the saxophone, we will need to break the triads into musical lines that will trace the sound of the chords. Here I am switching from one triad to another, tracing the notes of the triads C minor to D minor. C minor, playing the arpeggio of that, then D minor, then the C minor arpeggio in a different inversion, then D minor first inversion then C minor second inversion and D minor second inversion. The beauty of this system is that it is very creative and open. Let's now listen to some other triad pair combinations over the C minor bass and see what kind of emotions the different triad pairs evoke when superimposed over this C minor chord. First, E flat and F major over C minor. A Dorian strong sound is implied. The super interesting thing about the triad pair system is that different triad pairs produce different emotions. Now another pair of triads, G major and F major. stronger sound there, implying a different soundscape completely. Now let's listen to D minor and E flat major triads and see what feelings these two triad pairs evoke. Now for a different sound, F minor and G major an Eastern flavor. When played on a single line instrument, triad pairs produce a coherent, strong and integral sound. Would you agree? As well, we have the freedom to play the triads in a myriad of different shapes. Here are some we see in this thesaurus package. Groups of three notes. Four notes. Five notes. And six notes. Now let's listen to C minor and B flat major. An 
aeolian sound, gentle combination, cosy even. You may be wondering, how are the triads chosen? What are the rules? The quick answer to this is that we can borrow triads from chord scales of the bass chord. Now let's listen to C minor and D flat major. This is a Phrygian, darker sound, reminiscent of Mozhorsky. It should be stated here and now that you can apply this technique to all kinds of chords, majors, minors, dominant sevenths, minor seven flat five chords, etc. The possibilities are huge. The shapes and tribe pairs in this video come from my new course, the Thesaurus of Tribe Pairs. I'm really excited about presenting the material as a video course, as this format has so many more benefits than a regular download. For me, this is the future of learning, the way to go, as it offers the student the best possible learning experience. Check out the link in the video description if you'd like to learn more. Another pair of triads are C minor and D major. I call the scale these two triads come from the Sati scale. I heard this sound in Sati's Nyosion number three. The wonderful thing about the triad pair system is that the player themselves has the freedom to decide how they wish to play the triads. Quickly, slowly, with leaps, with rhythms. The creative possibilities are endless.